Hey guys, welcome back. In my previous video, I discussed about introduction part of the chapter nutrition and few details of autotrophic nutrition. The link of the video is provided in the description. You can watch it for the details. Today, I'll be discussing about the factors affecting the process of photosynthesis. Let's start with today's topic. Water, carbon dioxide, sunlight and chlorophyll are the essential factors for the process of photosynthesis. In today's video, I'll be discussing about the experiments conducted by Von Helmont and Joseph Priestley in order to understand the importance of water and air during the process of photosynthesis. First of all, let's discuss about the experiment conducted by Von Helmont. In the year 1648, a Belgian scientist, Von Helmont, conducted an experiment that continued for five years. He found that the water is essential for the increase of plant mass. Von Helmont took a small willow tree and planted it in a large pot of soil. Before he did this, he carefully measured the mass of the dry soil and the mass of the tree. He covered the soil with a lid so that nothing could fall onto the surface of the soil and add to its mass. There were holes in the lid so that the tree could grow out of the soil and so that air and water could reach the roots. One helmet left the tree for five years giving it only rain water to drink. At the end of five years, he measured the mass of the tree and the mass of the dry soil for the second time. The results of this experiment are shown in the table. At start, the mass of the tree was 2.27 kg and after five years, the mass of the tree became 76.74 kg. There is a great change in mass and that difference is 74.47 kg. This much mass of the tree was increased. And if we look here about the dry soil, at start the mass of the dry soil was 90.72 kg and after 5 years it became 90.66 there was a decrease of 0 0.06 kg mass of the dry soil. So these were the observations made in the experiment conducted by Von Helmont for 5 years. This experiment changed the belief of hundreds of years. This was because Von Helmont arrived at a result that the substances needed for the growth of the plant do not come from the soil only. I repeat this once again. The substances needed for the growth of the plant do not come from the soil only and the plant grows because of the water it gets. The plant grows because of the water it gets. These were the conclusions made by Von Helmont. After this, let's discuss about the experiment conducted by Joseph Priestley. Joseph Priestley in 1770 performed a series of experiments that revealed the essential role of air on the growth of green plants. Photosynthesis was still not known to scientists 
at that time priestly observed that a candle burning in a closed bell jar soon gets extinguished similarly a mouse would soon suffocate in a closed space of the bell jar you can see in this diagram you will understand better okay here the candle placed in a closed bell jar soon gets extinguished and a mouse which was placed in a closed bell jar suffocate and will die okay so this was the experiment performed by joseph priestley okay he concluded that a burning candle or an animal both somehow damage air when priestley placed a mint plant in the same bell jars he found that the mouth stayed alive and the candle when lighted from outside continued burning you can see here when a mint plant was placed inside the bell jar the candle was burning okay na it did not extinguish and also the mouse did not suffocate priestley hypothesized as follows plants restore the air what breathing animals and burning candles remove priestley's experiment confirmed that gases exchange was going on and plants were giving out a gas that supported burning and was essential for survival of animals massive amounts of gas exchange occur through the stomata as long as they are open plants also carry on gas exchange through loose tissues in the stems and roots so this is how joseph priestley performed the experiment and explained the importance of air during the process of photosynthesis okay this is all about today's video if you are new to my channel subscribe for more videos if you liked it share it with your friends i'll be back with another video have a great day thank you all